Hello everyone. Welcome back to the OpenShift Bootcamp course. In this video, we will learn about what is OpenShift and why we are using OpenShift. We will also learn the features of OpenShift compared to other similar products. Please note, when I say OpenShift during the course, it means either the OKD or the actual OpenShift. So please do not get confused with that. This video is independent of and does not represent Red Hat in any way. Red Hat does not officially sponsor, approve or endorse this content. There is no promotional content in this video either. So what is OpenShift? OpenShift is a featureful containerized application platform with the ability to manage and scale applications utilizing container deployments. To make it clear, OpenShift is based on the same Kubernetes we are talking about every day, but extends the platform uh, with features to handle the entire application lifecycle. OpenShift provides predefined application environments with a lot of features which will enable the organization to implement DevOps methodologies and tools including continuous integration CI and continuous delivery CD. In general, OpenShift will come under the platform as a service or pass category. If you are very new to Kubernetes, please check our channel for more videos on Kubernetes. What is OKD? OKD is the actual open source project that powers OpenShift and you can start with OKD for free. Of course, no enterprise support but community support. So what is Red Hat OpenShift? Red Hat OpenShift is an enterprise Kubernetes container platform. It is a full stack platform with automated operations to manage your applications on hybrid cloud, multi-cloud and edge. Red Hat OpenShift includes a lot of components such as container runtime, CI CD, monitoring, networking, registry, authentication and authorization. Where should I deploy OpenShift? You can deploy OpenShift in public cloud, private cloud or on top of on-premise bare metal servers. You have some restrictions on the operating system to use such as Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux Core OS or CentOS for OKD. Then we will have the a Kubernetes layer on top of this operating system and then the OpenShift layer built on top of Kubernetes. So what are the features of OpenShift? So the main one is you know the CLI, Web Console, API, all those things. You have mainly two methods to manage and use OpenShift. First one is using the CLI called OC, which is very powerful and will be your everyday tool. But OpenShift also has a simple but featureful web console by which you can manage your OpenShift cluster and resources without even using CLI. Also, OpenShift API is a fully powered REST API for your entire programmatic access automation and integration the next one is operator framework with the operators you can install and manage kubernetes applications and services with a single step actions the another one is a full stack automation you can deploy your application with a single click or by simply providing the source code repo url OpenShift will take care of the backend jobs including building the container image, keeping it in the internal registry, deploying containers, creating services and routes, etc. The next one is security. Security is already inbuilt with strong RBAC rules, strict secret management, auditing and logging. And the next one is streamlined workflows. OpenShift has built-in support for CI CD and you can also integrate with your own choice of CI CD tools and many other things. Uh, you can always refer to the documentation and website for more features and details. So what are the options available with Red Hat OpenShift? There are mainly two categories. You can have fully managed OpenShift clusters or self-managed OpenShift clusters. Managed clusters are managed services where the infrastructure and OpenShift clusters are managed by Red Hat and public cloud providers. We have a detailed video on managed OpenShift clusters and offerings. 
please check the video description to find the link for that video. Self-managed clusters are fully deployed and managed by customers in their own private cloud environment, bare metal, or even on public cloud. That's all for the introduction to OpenShift and you will learn more and more about OpenShift in the upcoming videos during this OpenShift Bootcamp series. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to get all the latest videos whenever we release. Thank you for watching. See you next time with another video. Stay tuned.